All right, so we know you have so many questions about the coronavirus, the spread of it, how to contain it, and we want to make sure we're taking time every day to get you some answers about this. Yeah, Dr. Robert Amler is the Dean of the School of Biomedical Sciences at New York Medical College. You've been with us before. We thank you for joining us again. Uh, Stephan and I were talking about um, one of the big questions, the pandemic peaking. We heard the governor say uh, it could happen not for 45 days. So speak a little bit to that when we could expect that. You're absolutely right. It's hard to put an exact number on how much longer this will go on. But let's face it, the real game here is to block exposure. And that's why all of these measures are being taken right now. Some of them seem very extreme, but what would be more extreme would be if we didn't take these measures and more exposure could occur than is currently happening. So what, are, what exactly are we looking for, doctor? Is there a certain number, a certain threshold uh, that the state is looking at and says, hey, we're beating this thing, finally we're off the peak? What, what is that going to look like? Good question. It's really not so much the number, Stefan, as it is the trend. We watch the trend as it goes up, and we measure the increase in cases. We also look at how far and how wide these cases are expanding in our populations. And now that we're doing much more expanded testing, we can see much more clearly how far the disease is going, how far the virus is spreading. Okay, and let's talk. You mentioned, uh, Doctor, the testing there. It's important, I think, to reiterate the requirements for this. There's been so much confusion about when you can get tested, only if your symptoms are at this level or that severe. Talk, speak to that a little bit, too. I'm sorry, say again? I didn't the, quite hear. The testing requirements, speak to that, because there's a lot of confusion over, you know, how sick am I? Am I able to get the testing if I don't have those severe symptoms? That's right. This is going to depend on what your actual symptoms are and how far you are from other cases, possible exposures you might have had. So every case is going to be treated based on the details of what you feel is wrong with you and where you have been or where you might have been exposed. So uh, in most parts of the country, people who would like to be tested are given a number that they can call to uh, discuss it with somebody or their doctor will call and find out if the conditions warrant testing. But what really has changed so much just in the last week has been the rapid expansion and availability of testing so that many more people can get tested. Okay. okay. All right, doctor, we thank you so much. Again, the testing has been such a big question. We appreciate you joining us here today. Dr. Ambler, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me.